So in this video, we're going to look at a formula for calculating compound interest. Now, let's take $10,000 and put it in a bank account. And let's leave it there for 15 years, quite a long time. This is called a term deposit. It's putting money in a bank account for a certain amount of time and saying, I'm, oh, I promise I'm not going to take it out. And if you go to the bank and say, can I have it back? They'll say no. Term deposit. Okay, so let's put $10,000 in the bank and let's put it in there for 15 years. And let's say that the bank says to us, yep, great, that's fantastic. Every year we're going to give you 8% interest. That's 8% per annum. Per annum means per year. Now, just with these three pieces of information, we can figure out how much money will be in our bank account when we pull it out in 15 years' time, when we're ready to make our big purchase. So we're going to use our compound interest formula, and our compound interest formula is... Here's our compound interest formula. A equals P times 1 plus R, all to the power of T. So A is the final amount, the amount that you'll be able to pull out at the end of the term deposit. P is principal, the money that you started with. R is going to be the interest rate, but remember, it should be decimal, not percentage. And finally, T is time, how long it's going to be in our bank account. So let's do this particular question. I wonder how much money, the final amount of money I'll have, if I put a certain amount of money in here, at a certain interest rate for a certain amount of time. Sorry, I'm going to use R here, not I. People use both. Okay, so principal, $10,000, that's how much money I put in the bank account at the start, plus our rate. Now, our rate is 8%, but as a decimal, that's 0 0.08. And the time, well, I'm going to put it in there for 15 years. I'm just going to do another line of working here. 1.08, I've added those two numbers together to the power of 15. Now, I can do all of that on my calculator in one step. Now, when I do that, you might be surprised that the answer is $31,721.69. Quite a bit of money. I started with 10000 after 15 years. If I just leave it in my bank account, I'll have $31,721. tripled my money. Okay, that's compound interest. That's how the compound interest formula works. Um, let's go.